do forget his name, and then it was Con Con. But so Con Con is up right here. So we're seeing a Yoshi versus a Luigi. Uh, it's think, a button check, I believe. Yeah. So, what do you think of the matchup first of all? Um, Page. That's his name. Page. Page. Oh, and, okay. Um, so the matchup here, a little bit iffy. Um, Yoshi can go off stage, do whatever he wants to uh -huh. Luigi. Luigi can do the same exact thing, but um, one thing that Kong Kong needs to like really account for is. Um, Luigi's jump armor. Yeah, it has. It's not super armor. It's not heavy armor. It's subtractive armor. So basically, if you break the double jump armor, um, say he has a hundred armor, right? A hundred armor on his double jump. Yeah. And you hit him with a knock move with the knockback of one one hundred five. He's only going to receive five of that knockback. So whatever whatever knockback breaks his double jump, he'll receive. Whatever's left of it. That's true. All right. So, Kanka has to be really mindful of that Luigi is really good at pressuring characters in inside of his little space here. He also has uh, Poltergust to work with. Yep. Um, using it as a Zare to to just dwindle down that uh, that subtractive armor a little bit. Oh. So. He also. He all, yeah. He. Con 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 can basically. Overwhelm Yoshi. Yoshi's Yoshi and Luigi's zone breakers are Nair. Uh -huh. And if Kon Kon is able to bait out the Nair, he, he should be in good hands. It's also uh, Luigi's Cyclone is very good because the yeah. frames at the start. Um, so Yoshi is still um, he's still vulnerable to the zero to death combo yes. from uh, Luigi. He can't double jump. Some people thought he could double jump out of it, but you can't do it as uh, Yoshi. So this match it depends on the timing yeah. of, of the Luigi. This most most times you're not going to be able. Yeah, to you're not going to escape. Yeah. So this this matchup, I would say, it can go either way. It really depends if Yoshi, because Yoshi can go off stage pretty deep, especially with yeah. he's got a pretty good recovery. So he can exploit Luigi's like really linear recovery. Then we'll see a different game. But if Kong Kong is able to overwhelm the Yoshi, get his combos down, and still make it back onto the stage, and also, uh, fun fact. Uh, Luigi has really good uh, vertical recovery. Yes. It's it's kind of crazy how much you can get from it. Yeah, as long as he retains his double jump, his vertical recovery is probably one of the, on, on the better end. It's not yeah. one of the best, but it's on the better end of the cast when it comes to vertical recovery. Because you get the you get a distance boost when you do a jump and then a special move. Yeah. I remember that. So here we go, a match starting off. Mr. Con Con versus Paige, correct? Yes. Paige, and so you're on. So is it Town and City or is it uh, Smashville? I keep uh, Town forgetting. and City. Town and City. All right. So Smashville is with a single, a single, single yeah. platform. So uh, moving from here. So this is definitely going to be this is a really interesting match because we both explained the win conditions, right? But how it's going to be executed is another thing. Yeah, uh, a lot of things uh, that Paige needs to account for is that Con Con loves throwing out his projectiles. He loves having his fireball out. He loves having Poltergust there out. And he has to work around that. He has to uh, try to zone break on top of that. Uh, on top of zone breaking, he has to use his eggs to keep Mr. Kong Kong yeah. out. Because besides the projectiles, Luigi has no range. Yeah. In terms of range, Yoshi probably has the better range. Uh -huh. And as well as also um, Yoshi uh, not only has the projectiles, but has confirms off of these projectiles yes. as well, especially in midair. You can do it there. And there we go. Cyclone confirmed, not able to take it just yet. So remember, with this is the most recent patch. So Super Cyclone was taken out, so it's not it's no longer an option with Luigi where um, he would do a Cyclone, and if you get off the stage at a certain frame, your entire Cyclone will be invulnerable. Okay. Which is a very yeah, it was uh, and you can it was unpunishable. Like you couldn't grab him, you couldn't hit him at all. But the first dot goes in the favor of Mr. Kong Kong, so definitely we're already starting to see how Paige is kind of struggling against this Luigi because it's not just any Luigi. This is Mr. Kong Kong after all. Yeah. And Paige doing really well at, oh. at, at keeping his percent uh, relatively high. Mm -hmm. uh, he can get him with a stray smash attack, but he has to be careful when he's trying to cross up Con Con. Uh, Luigi's forward smash is a pretty fast forward smash. It comes out really fast, active for very little frames. And but safe at the has, very tip too yeah, as well. Yeah, it has a lot of knockback on it though. And Paige has been eating a lot of damage that he doesn't really want right now. So I love Mr. Con Con. Knowing that he has a lead, he's starting to play defensive. He's throwing out those fireballs. He's really forcing Paige to come after him. But the problem is, is that Paige hasn't really been offensive at all, as we've seen. Yeah. It could be it could be the nerves. It could be the fear. 
They're doing it, but great parry into the cycle now should not kill just yet. This is uh, this is pretty high ceiling on this stage as well. So great use of the nair actually gets passed. So the cycle use once again. The cycle is probably one of the most. It's probably Luigi's one of his best tools. It can combo break. It can kill, and it's also involved with the start. So Paige takes a stock, but what does he have to do differently if he wants to win this match? Uh, he has to start baiting Kong Kong a little bit better. He's always looking for the air dodge. And Kong Kong hasn't been always giving that to him, but Kong Kong has been landing very aggressively, throwing out fireballs, throwing out nares. He doesn't have his double jumps, so he's got to air dodge. Kanye, that's no. it. But yeah, so. Kong Kong doing really well at keeping Paige un uh, in his book. Mm -hmm. he, he's really just reading him yep. as much as he wants. There's not a lot of... There's not a lot Paige can really do mm -hmm. because he is panicking right now. Yeah, and it, and people are saying, oh, great use of the up special. But like we said, people are just like, just take a deep breath and breathe. But it's also the fact that when you're really thinking about it, it's like, oh, it's Mr. Kong Kong, one of the best Luigi players in SoCal. Oh, I'm, I'm just not supposed to panic, right? So it's it's not it's not that easy, but Paige is doing a pretty good job. And into the Cyclone confirmed, that should be it. So that is round one going to favor, so Paige. Uh, what stage would be good for Yoshi against Luigi? Uh, Kalos. Kalos? Probably. Uh, he's, been, he's been getting hit upwards a lot. And he With hasn't the Cyclone, been, yeah. yeah. He hasn't been finding ways down too well. So that, I mean, that is one of Yoshi's weaknesses, is that he, his landing is very poor. Yeah. So can't really blame him too much on that one. And just Mr. Kong Kong has just been doing a great job of covering all the options as well. He also really likes... Um, smaller smaller ish stages because he doesn't have to try and zone break too much. Uh -huh. Small stages would be like I guess Smashville and possibly Final Destination. Um, but again, really it just really depends on the Yoshi there. Um, Paige, from what I've seen, doesn't look like he really uh, he really wants to use his projectiles, so having a Smashville pick should work out in his favor. Uh -huh. Although Con Con has been throwing out quite a bit of forward smashes, so Paige has, has to worry about dying early on the sides too. So what I'm starting to notice is that Paige is starting to use his fair as a way to space out the Luigi. And then we're seeing right now, we're seeing Mr. Con Con, he's doing a great job of keeping his aggressive options open, using his fireballs and his fast movement in order to get a punish down. So Paige, it seems, yeah, it's playing this very defensive. You're seeing he's starting to run away immediately. Like, as he got on the stage, he automatically went to the opposite side, and Mr. Kong Kong's already on it, covering the option. And the Zare gonna hit, but thankfully, Paige is able to recover, and great use with the Yoshi Bomb as well. And baiting out the cycle, this is exactly what you were talking about in order for him to win. Yeah, and right there, trying to catch his jump with the Nair, just a little bit too, uh, a little bit misspaced for him to catch him with Nair there. But he gets caught by the Poltergust, and that and is the that's Cyclone. The great DI by Paige, so gonna stay alive, but landing is going to be the issue, but finally gets up. The Cyclone is out, great bait. The up smash does hit. It's got some pretty big range and great use of the fireballs by Mr. Con Con, and the Yoshi Bomb won't be able to confirm it just yet. So this is a much better game that we're seeing from Paige. Yeah, Paige seems a little bit more comfortable, especially with the stage, but Ooh. he's got to watch out. Pulls across back throw, very strong back throw, one of the best in the game. Uh huh. You're gonna kill him off the side there. And here we go. So, down throw into. Couldn't get the confirm off of that one, could have been the rage, but the cycle is once more. A lot of the Luigi players have been using the cycle, just how strong it is and how good it is. And up special, good at kill because of the rage. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, it, it would have failed without the rage. Really? Yes, it's just that powerful. It's uh, not okay. <laughs> but does get the F smash in return, but uh, it's, it's, it's not looking too good. Try to get the jab lock set up, but unable to get the return in following. So I, I understand why Paige is playing defensive, but he is behind. That is the issue. Yeah, he again, he's he's got to make Con Con approach. Yeah. But Paige is not... Con Con knows this. And Con, Con, Con Con's Con Con's content. So oh, uh, here we go. Back. Oh, that's not going to be enough. I've never seen someone use Zare to connect into Fire Jump Punch. So, actually, what happens is, is that you use Zare on lightweight characters such as Jigglypuff and Pichu and hits him with the... Misfire. Mr. Con Con taking it with the Misfire. Oh, goodness, what a great dominant game. There, there isn't much really to say, is there? Not really. <laughs> it's Luigi. <laughs> it's, it's just Luigi thing. So, Azu, great match from Paige, but... It felt like that Kong Kong was controlling it the entire time. Yeah, Kong Kong got the read on Paige uh, very early into the set. Mm -hmm. He knew what Paige wanted to do, and 
He knew when Paige would panic. Yeah. He knew that Paige would abuse the double jump. Mm -hmm. It's all, all, I ha all he had to do is hit the double jump. He didn't need to break it. Yeah. He just needed to hit him while he's, while he's double jumping. And then because, Paige Paige, because Paige wants to keep that subtractive uh -huh. armor as much as he can. He A lot of times, most of the time actually, he didn't throw out any option out of double jump. Yeah. It was, just, he, he he was knew, just panicking. He knew that if he throws out an option, he doesn't have his double jump, which uh -huh. is basically the better recovery between that and his upbeat. But the problem is you have to take a risk, yeah. especially in this game. You can't, you, there's no such thing as playing safe 24-7 because you're not going to get anything out of it. It's such an innovative game. So, um, and I mean, there isn't much 